Welcome back to the final installment of the STM32 Plus LoRa video series. We've learned about the fundamentals of LoRa wireless technology, the LoRa WAN stack, and compiled and programmed it onto our STM32 LoRa discovery board. Now it's time to set up an account, learn a bit about the Cayenne low power payload data format, and visualize our data on the My Devices Cayenne application server dashboard. Similar to Senate, we need to go to mydevices.com, set up an account. Click, click on sign up free, fill out your name, email address, and a password, and get your account going. Now back in our project, there's a few things we want to take note of. In the main.c file on line 79, we want to make sure that Cayenne LPP is defined. The default, it's uh, commented out. This will use the Cayenne low power payload data format when we send data. Also, I'll be using the IKS01A2 sensor shield. So in the hardware hw underscore conf.h file, I want to make sure the sensor is enabled. And also I'm going to disable low power mode for better debug uh, visibility. And make sure that debug is defined as well. Now back in main.c down at line 199, the LoRa TX data function captures the sensor data and sends it up. If we noodle through the many if defs, we'll see that we're reading temperature, pressure, and humidity and setting it at a predefined format. This is the Cayenne low power payload data format. So let's take a closer look at that. Once you've set up your Cayenne account, go to the upper right hand corner and click on the Docs link. Then on the left side, click on LoRa. This will give you an overview of the LoRa WAN as well as the Cayenne low power payload data format used. This is a simplified version of the IPSO Alliance Smart Object Guidelines, which defines very simple payload structure, a single byte identifying a channel, one byte data type, which is the, the sensor type. For example, our temperature sensor has 67 hex as its sensor type, followed by two data bytes. And on the right here, we can see the type of data, 0.1 degrees Celsius signed temperature data. Similarly, for our humidity sensor, and our barometer. We can also use other sensors on the board, which I have done and I will demonstrate, including the accelerometer, gyro, GPS location if uh, we have that information. And there's some examples here for the different data types. There's also information here if you click on Senate Network, similar to what we went over on setting up a gateway and a device and putting it onto the Cayenne network. Now speaking of Senate, there's one more thing we need to do with our node. If we click on the gear here, edit device, go to the notification target, we need to forward our data to my device's Cayenne. Make sure it's enabled. You can also include RF data. This is where it routes the payload information up to the application dashboard. Here's a look at my application dashboard. If I breathe heavily on the humidity sensor, we'll see some changes in environmental data. Now to add our device to the Cayenne dashboard, here's what we need to do. Click on Add New device slash widget click on LoRa and select the network Senate we're going to use Cayenne LPP widget 
Now, similar to what we did with the device EUI and app key, we're going to need to enter those values here. Just hex values with no commas or 0x prefix. Enter that value, give it a name, select whether it moves or not, probably not, and click Add Device. It'll then show up on your left hand side here. And as it begins to receive LPP data, the widgets will be populated. Now here I've taken that example and modified it to add accelerometer and gyro data. As those sensors are seen by the Cayenne dashboard, they will become visible. Here I alternate between accelerometer data, environmental data, and gyro data. And because my channel numbers are slightly different, I have two copies of temperature, barometer, and humidity now. If I move my board around, I can see some of the motion sensors changing. So there you have it, the four key pieces of the LoRaWAN puzzle. The device, the gateway, the network server, and the application server. And don't forget the four key factors of LoRa wireless technology. Low data rate, low power, long range, and low cost. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.